This is the largest ant in Taiwan. Now let's see if we can find one that's alive. Most people, when they think of ants, they see them as little pests that messes up the dessert or little bugs at the corner of the park. But they actually account for 20% of the world's land biomass. To put that in perspective, human accounts for 30%. So if you add ants and humans together, that's more than half of the world's land biomass on Earth. And they are surprisingly similar to human. Um, for example, they cooperate, they have a social system, they have livestock, and they farm. Uh, not a lot of animals in the animal kingdom actually do that. Just like humans, they are found all over the planet, except Arctic and Antarctica. Taipei Juzhanyi is no different. You can find them from the north to the south of Taiwan, on all different kinds of mountains. And I had this question when I first learned about this. Why are they called Taipei Carpenter Ants if they can be found all over Taiwan? So I had to do some digging about this. The first specimen of Taipei Carpenter Ants was collected by a Japanese scientist named R. Takahashi. And he put it down as being collected from Taihoku. Taihoku is the name for Taipei during the Japanese colonial ruling period. During that time, there was not a lot of resources organizing these names or collecting these data. So I guess the name Taipei Carpenter Ants just sticked, and that's what we call them today. And Taipei Carpenter Ants is its common name. Its scientific name is actually Campanatus formosensis. Campanatus means carpenter ant because it lives in trees. Uh, formosensis means it's from Formosa. For the viewers that's not from Taiwan, Formosa is the name given to Taiwan by the Portuguese during the 16th century. And the direct translation for it is the beautiful island. So Taipei carpenter ants should actually be called the beautiful island ants. So when I first heard about these large ascents in Taiwan, I really wanted to find them. And I thought, they're really big, right? They should be easy to find. But boy, was I wrong. I spent multiple weekends going on different trails, different types of mountain, different environment, on the top of the mountain, on the side of the mountain. I just could not find them. And weeks were going by. So I thought, all right, there's so many cool bugs in Taiwan. I can look for all these other ones first and I'll find Taipei carpenter ants later. And that's how life usually works, right? When I stop looking for them, that's the day when I find them. It was on this trail. I was just looking for cool bugs and they were just running around the handrail like this. Campanatus from senses usually live in tree holes just like this and they are found near waterways and beautiful forests and so far, whenever I've found these ants, the scenery around is always gorgeous with no exception. The name fits.
，谢谢你看影片看到最后。其实我想拍这个影片很久，所以你看到这边对我来讲是一件非常有意义的事情。那到这边可能有人会问：哎，你会讲中文，那为什么影片要拍英文的？这个其实有两个原因。呃，第一个是。我接下来的影片主要都会专注于台湾的生态环境、昆虫、自然。那我如果使用英文，我可以将这些台湾的很美的东西，我很喜欢的东西，推广到世界不同的观众，呃，受众就会大很多。这是第一个原因。第二个原因是，其实我在拍影片之前，我有测试过中文的版本、英文的版本。我是十四岁的时候从台湾。移民到加拿大去读书，然后前后在国外待了十四年，所以英文对我来说还是稍微在镜头面前会反应比较快，也比较自然一点。呃，综合这两点下来的原因，最后我决定呃用英文来拍影片。接下来我还有很多很多的内容，自然相关的内容，想要跟你们分享、呃。如果你喜欢我的影片，希望下次还能再看到。Bye.